Good afternoon and welcome to the 2018 Will County Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony. My name is Ed Clark and I'm the current president of the Will County Chief of Police Association. On behalf of the organization, I would like to thank our family and friends of our fallen officers who are in attendance today. Today I would like to especially recognize the additions of Stateville Correctional Officer Tracy E. Cooper and Will County Sheriff's Correctional Officer Kevin J. Brewer. Their sacrifice will never be forgotten. I would like to welcome teacher Mr. Kit Crawford and the students from Cheney Manji Grade School in Crest Hill. At this time, Joliet Police Department Honor Guard will present colors. At this time, our national anthem will be performed by Valerie Giuliani and the Clarinet Quartet from Homer Junior High School. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Lockport Police Chaplain Steve Bednarczyk to offer the invocation. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you for this beautiful day. As we take this time to remember those who lost their lives and thank you for all of their courage. We now invite your presence here and ask for your comfort and peace for those loved ones who are left behind. Let them know how much you love and how much you care for them, dear God. And as they have memories at special times, dates, holidays, and even seeing an empty church, just grant your grace to them. And we have many questions have been asked on how could this have happened or why did this happen? But we can't answer that. We know that we live in a good world, but that we also live in an evil world. But you said in your word, I will never leave you, or will I forsake you, and that my grace is sufficient for you. And now I thank you, Lord, for all of the officers that serve us now, 
And I ask that you would give them protection, your beautiful hedge of protection around them as they go on calls and that when they go in different situations that you would just give them wisdom and guidance and direction. And I also ask for peace for the families as they're on, on their different shifts that you would give them peace. And I would ask that you would bless the remainder of this service in your beautiful name. Amen. Justice Mary Kay O'Brien has served on the 3rd District Appellate Court since December 2003. Prior to her service of an appellate court justice, O'Brien served in the Illinois House of Re Representatives from 1997 to 2003, representing the Southern Will County communities of Shanahan, Braidwood, Custer Park, and Wilmington. As a state representative, Justice O'Brien chaired the House Committee on Criminal Law authoring numerous bills that strengthen our criminal statutes and correctional institutions. She was a founding member of the 13th Judicial Circuit Domestic Violence Council. Justice O'Brien started her legal career first as a consumer advocate for Illinois Attorney General Neil Hartigan, and then as a prosecutor for Grundy County State's Attorney Dave Neal. O'Brien practiced law in this community for several years before coming a, becoming a judge. Justin O'Brien serves on the Supreme Court Legislative Committee and on the Board of Directors for the Lawyers Assistance Program. In addition, she is a member of the Illinois State Bar Association, the American Bar Association, the Kankakee, Will, and Grundy County Bar Associations. O'Brien lives in Essex, Illinois, and continues to serve the community as a 4-H leader, chair of the present St. Mary's Community Leadership Board, and the Essex Lions Club. It is now my pleasure to introduce Justice Mary Kay O'Brien. Thank you, Chief Clark. It's my honor to join today in honoring the families, the Brewers and the Coopers, as we honor their service and their sacrifice. I'd like to thank Coroner Pat O'Neill for extending the invitation to me today to participate as well as all of the law enforcement officials, uh, including the Will County Sheriff Mike Kelly, the State's Attorney Jim Glasgow, all the chiefs that are present here, our Chief Judge Rick Shainstead. President John F. Kennedy signed the joint proclamation naming May 15th Police Memorial Day in 1962. In doing so, he recognized that it's important that our law enforcement officials are recognized as protecting us not just physically but also protecting the freedoms that were guaranteed under the Constitution. President Kennedy recognized the role of law enforcement in the United States is much more than making arrests or stopping violence. But in fact, law enforcement are the keepers of the peace. He recognized that law enforcement, like all of you recognized here and gathered here, are the hallmark of a free society. So in the tradition started by a great president, we gather here to honor the two men that have given their lives to make our lives better. Sometimes it is hard to recognize the honor and the privilege uh, that is bestowed on law enforcement and the regard that it's held in, but Illinois is a state that values law enforcement. According to data that I collected from Wallet Hub and Officer Down, Illinois ranks highest in the nation in pay for its law enforcement, 10th in overall quality of life, and 20th for job hazards. I know I speak for countless Illinois citizens when I say that I'm very thankful to know that my home, my family, and my life are protected every day all day by men and women who take a vow to protect all of us. I think every one of us knows that there's a risk of physical harm to every single member of law enforcement, whether it's a deputy making a traffic stop, a correctional officer managing a jail population, or a detective searching for a subject. But we often overlook the physical danger associated with the stress of this occupation. People go into careers in law enforcement to help people, 
and they fully expect to be in dangerous situations and perhaps even to have to use the service revolver. But most cannot imagine the enormous pressure that is also part of that job. The pressure that comes from wanting to get it right. The pressure that comes from staying true to that oath despite the stress of unfair criticism and disrespect that is all too common today. While all law enforcement families recognize the stress that's associated with the job, we are all just learning how that stress takes a toll on your body and your mind and results in many other work-related hazards. So today is designed to take that moment and to honor the commitment and the sacrifice of law enforcement here in Will County, in our state, and across this country. To the officers that we are honoring today, they accepted a job and a way of life for themselves, but also for their families. There is no way to separate the officer's family from the sacrifice of the officer. We salute you, and even more importantly, as we remember Kevin and Tracy, we want that your families to know that we remember them as well. We remember the sacrifice your family has made, not only during celebrations like today, but every time we see an organized, peaceful protest, or when we feel safe in our neighborhoods, every time we need help and know it's only a phone call away, we are called upon to remember the service of men and women who have sacrificed everything for someone perhaps they've never met. But I say challenge, remembering is not enough. We must all accept the challenge of responsibility to remind and to teach every person that it's our obligation to teach respect and honor for the people who every day say they're willing to lay down their life for others simply by going to work. You are honored and valued not only today, but every day. We keep you in our hearts and in our prayers, and you are never far from our thoughts. Thank you. Thank you, Justice O'Brien. The Lockport Honor Guard assisted, assisting students from Cheney Manji School will be presenting the wreath for placement at the memorial.
I will now read the list of those fallen in the morning. Joseph Clark, Joliet Correctional Center. Francis DeLong, Joliet Constable. Ernest Mueller, Frankfurt Constable. Walter Weiss, Joliet Police Department. Walter Fisher, Will County Sheriff's Police. Peter Klein, Joliet Correctional Center. John Murphy, Joliet Police Department. Carl Dubson, Lockport Police Department. Frank Schwartz, Illinois State Police. John McCabe, Illinois State Police. Edward McCasey, Stateville Correctional Officer. Zoth Skaggs, Stateville Correctional. Louis Barney, Joliet Police Department. William D. Miller, Illinois Conservation Police. James Nink, Crest Hill Police Department. Richard Warner, Illinois State Police. William Lawscheider, Joliet Police Department. James Zeger, Stateville Correctional Center. Jeffrey Hopkins, Joliet Police Department. Peter Bird, Stateville Correctional Center. Dennis Foley, Will County Auxiliary. Stephen Mayer, Will County Auxiliary. Martin Murin, Joliet Police Department. Raymond Topolowski, Will County Sheriff's Police. Henry Washington, Illinois Youth Center. Daniel Jerema, Lockport Police Department. Swang Trungham, Stateville Correctional Center. Lawrence Cush, Stateville Correctional Center. Robert Kalowski, Illinois State Police. Timothy Simonson, Crest Hill Police Department. Aaron Heil, Illinois State Police. Terrence Loftus, U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. Jonathan Walsh, Joliet Police Department. Tracy E. Cooper, Stateville Correctional Center. Kevin J. Brewer, Will County Sheriff's Office. Thank you, Officer Phil Stice. At this time, the Lockport Police Honor Guard will lower the colors.
At the conclusion, we remember John 15, 13. Greater love has no other than this, that one laid down his life for his friends. The Will County Major Crimes Task Force meeting will, for members of the Will County Police Chiefs Association will be held at the Joliet Police Department immediately following the memorial service. At this time, I'd like to introduce Lockport Police Chaplain Lou Wald, who will offer the benediction. I would ask you to pray with me, please. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for being our peace and our comfort. As we prepare to leave this time of remembering and honoring those who gave their lives serving us, we request for you to be with their family, friends, fellow officers across Will County, our state and country comforting them in their loss. We are grateful that your daily presence in our lives, even the days when we feel like you're not with us, or painful days or trying times, help us to be aware of your loving protection, comfort, and support. We ask you to protect our law enforcement personnel, empower them to keep our county safe, give them wisdom in each situation, bring them home safely, and bless them and their families and keep them safe. We ask you to bless and guard our hearts and minds with your peace that surpasses understanding. Comfort us with your powerful presence and strength as we leave this time of remembering. May the presence, love, grace, and comfort of our almighty God be with you always in his powerful name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our service. Thank you for coming.